2002 through 2014 Volvo XC90 with the 3.2 liter engine brake booster vacuum pump reseal. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'm going to show you how to reseal the vacuum pump on this Volvo XC90. So the mechanical vacuum pump on this car is rebuildable. So I have a factory rebuild kit that I'm going to use on this. So it basically comes with all the O-rings need, needed to rebuild the pump. And uh, so I'll link this up in the description of the video. By rebuilding this pump, we're going to do this for under $100. If you were to buy a brand new factory pump, it would cost you a little over $400 just for the part alone. So we're going to get started by removing the two 8mm bolts here that holds the power steering reservoir bracket on. And then we're just going to push the, bracket, the reservoir out of our way. I'm going to be using my Milwaukee M18 Fuel 3H Drive uh, cordless impact gun here. This makes jobs like this go really fast. If you guys never seen this, I recommend you check it out. I'll also leave a link for that in the description of the video. So after getting the uh, reservoir unbolted, the next step is to remove the uh, top engine cover here. You're just going to pull in the corners, one in each corner here, and just give it a little pull. I want you to get it free to set it aside. After that, we're going to remove the cover here that covers up the, the air box and the PCM here. So you'll just lift it off and set it aside. Then we'll remove the hose clamp and pull the snorkel off. And the reason why is we need to get to a bolt that's underneath here. So once you get it off, the bolt underneath is going to be a 10 millimeter. Then we're going to remove the 13 millimeter bolt here. And a little further down on the bracket right here is going to be another 10 millimeter bolt that we're going to remove. So once you get the hose clamp loose and push, just push it out of your way as far as you need to do, go ahead and remove the uh, 10 millimeter. Once again, I'm using my Milwaukee M18 fuel. Like I said, it makes jobs like this so easy. Once you get that bolt out, the next bolt is going to be the one below here. So I'm just using my large, long extension again. One thing you want to be careful of is right back here are positive battery cables. So you want to make sure that they're not exposed and you don't arc out on anything. So just be aware of that. And uh, go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolt. Once you have the two 10 millimeter bolts removed, the next step is going to be to remove this 13 millimeter bolt. Now that the bolts are removed, you're going to start working the bracket out. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to actually grab the wiring harness here and give it a little pull, lift it upwards, and then you can pull the bracket out from underneath it. It takes a little effort, but it'll come out. The reason why we took the bracket out is it was covering up the 10 millimeter bolt here that holds the vacuum pump on. So once you got the uh, bracket removed, the next step is going to be is to unplug the brake booster vacuum hose here. And you could squeeze it and pull is how it's designed to come off but they tend to be hard to do and get stuck so what i like to do is use a little flat blade screwdriver and kind of put it in the, and give it a little slight twist and that'll pop it free and then you push the uh vac the vacuum hose off this hose can get brittle and break very easily so if it does i'll link up in the description a new replacement hose just in case now we need to remove the tin there and there and once you get the two 10 millimeter bolts removed, then what we're gonna do is take a little uh, hammer and a little a screwdriver or a pr little pry bar like I got, and give it a light little tap on the back of the pump, and that'll that'll pop it the seal free. And then you can use a little flat blade screwdriver and kind of uh, put it in between and pry the pump out. Now you can just lift the pump out of the car. And as you can see how, uh, how the uh, oil leaks and gets everywhere. It's also a vacuum leak also um, if the seal is leaking severe enough. So I took a little bit of brake clean and sprayed it off a little bit and um, got most of the uh, oil off of the outside of it here before I started working with it. Um, so we're going to take the pump all apart and give it a little bit more detailed clean in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is pick this o-ring here off on the back. So you'll just peel it off like this. I'm going to set this aside for now. Now I'm going to flip it over and remove um, the five uh, screws for the cover. Now that you got them off, pop the cover up. You're going to pick this seal out, clean it all up. What I like to do is kind of hold it, hold it like this. You don't want to disassemble the whole thing. It will come apart. All these pieces will come out. You can just leave all that together. Just like keep your thumb over it like this. Pour out all the and wipe it out. And then we'll, like I said, we'll pick this out, clean it all up. To clean up the lid, 
You just use a razor blade to scrape off all the old built up oil that's on there. Try not to dig into it and scar it or anything, but lightly scrape it and it'll clean off. Now that you got the lid all cleaned up, the next step is to pick the o-ring out. And then I use a little flat blade screwdriver and dig inside the little channel and get the, uh, the oil build up in there. Then you can use some brake clean and spray it in there and spray the whole thing off. Now we got the thing all cleaned up. The next step is going to take the uh, larger o-ring here from the kit and uh, we're going to install that into the, uh, into the channel here. And the uh, kit also comes with a brand new bolt so we're going to use those. After that, we'll flip it over and install the uh, smaller O-ring. Now that the O-ring is installed in the groove, I put a little bit of blue thread locker on the brand new bolts that came with the kit. And this prevents the bolts from vibrating loose and causing another oil leak. So now we're going to install the top cover here and just line it up. And then we'll go ahead and start all the uh, five of the new bolts, run them down until they're snug. Then we'll tighten them down in a crisscross pattern. So we'll start here, here, here here and here. I could not locate a torque spec on it, so you'll tighten them down by feel until they're nice and snug and maybe a quarter turn or so more. Now that the cover is reinstalled, the next step is to pop the little port here out. So you'll just put a flat blade screwdriver in there, push the little tabs in, and pry the little, little uh, port out, and then you're gonna wipe the inside of it out. So as you can see, I took a rag inside, I wiped it out thoroughly, then I put a little bit of silicone based lubricant on the um, new port here and you just slide it into position and um, uh, you'll find the, where the tabs lock in and then you're going to squeeze it until you hear it click into place and then you're going to give it a little tug after you've uh, gotten it clicked in and make sure that it doesn't pop back out. So once it's fully seated in there it's going to look like this. Now we can take the smaller o-ring for the kit and put it around the port here on the back. Make sure it fits nice and snug all the way around. Now that we got the o-rings installed and I gave the pump a little turn to make sure it's not binding, binding anywhere. Uh, next we're going to do is go to the car itself and clean up the, uh, the block mating surface here. So you're going to wipe all the oil out and maybe use a little brake clean and spray around. And Now that it's cleaned up. The next step is we need to line up the uh, cam gear here with the, with the cam gear on the pump. So you kind of just eyeball it and see how it's facing. So you look in there, you see how ours is kind of at an angle here. So we'll, we'll orientate the pump by rotating it to a, about where we think it is. And then what we're going to do is just going to lower the pump down into position and uh, push it in. And uh, it'll once it's lined up it'll seat fully flush against the block if it's not lined up we may have to pull it out twist it give it a little turn and um, just rotate it until you you get it lined up so now that you got it in there you just push it in until it's fully seated and now you can go ahead and put the two 10 millimeter bolts here and here back in and tighten those up also before you start the pump bolts it's a good idea to put a little bit of the blue thread locker on the bolts here so the pump doesn't get loose and create another leak now we're ready to re-secure the brake booster hose, so you're going to line it up and you're just going to push it on until you hear the little audible clicks. And then you're going to give it a little tug and make sure it does not pop back off. It's very important that you double check this. If it pops back off, you'll have uh, brake pedal issues. Now we're ready to install the bracket here, so you're going to slide it back underneath the wiring harness. You may have to lift it up to help guide it in there. And then once we get it into position, then you can go ahead and start all three of the bolts before you tighten it down. Once you get all three of the bolts started, then you can go ahead and run it down to it snug and tight. Now that all three bolts are back in and tight, now you can take the air snorkel here and put it back on over the inlet here and then tighten up the hose clamp. Now that the air snorkel is resecure and the clamp is tight, we can go ahead and uh, put the power steering bracket back on line it up and it will start the two uh, eight millimeter bolts and tighten now those down. Now the power reservoir is re-secure, you can take the top cover here for the PCM and air pump and go ahead and line it up, pop it back into place. Now we can take the top engine cover and put it back on and it lines up with these little rubber, with these little studs here and here, here, with these little uh, here and here. 
So these little grommets here make it line up. So you just line those up and pop it on like this. And that'll complete the job of replacing the uh, vacuum pump. I will link up the kit and all the tools that I use in this video in the description. That way, if you need to pick it up, you can find it there. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.